explaining why dark breath disease needs sunscreen. And it is a beautiful moment for me and my patients because I'm giving them a gift in that moment that nobody's taught them. And I open their eyes to something new that they've never experienced before. And that is that irrespective of the color of your skin, whether you're white like milk or black like night, it doesn't matter what color you are, sun damages and mutates every single type of skin. It doesn't matter, okay? Now the way that it'll damage my skin and the way that it'll damage your skin because you're so much darker than me is going to look totally different. So when I go in the sun, I burn, I freckle, I get skin cancer, I get solar led disease. You don't get any of that, right? So you think, well, I don't need to wear sunscreen. However, every single thing that darker patients come in and complain to me about, and the most common things are large pores, oily skin, hyperpigmentation, acne, rosacea, all of their concerns, the sun makes all of them worse. So in darker ethnicities, what you see when they're exposed to UV damage is you see larger pores, rougher texture, more acne scarring, more hyperpigmentation, more melasma, more dark circles around the eyes, more sensitivity, more dryness. So literally every single thing that they list out to me that they want to correct in their skin while they're coming to see me, I say to them, if you just start wearing sunscreen every day, everything will improve. So it's really important to remember that this is not just a mineral makeup that's for Caucasian skin or for lighter skin. This is absolutely for darker skin, for ethnic skin. Now no, you're definitely going to be wearing sunscreen every day. <laughs> and what's really nice is the brush on sunscreen. Every single patient that sees me needs with a brush on. And here's my approach with regards to sunscreen. I prescribe your regime, I give you a sunscreen to use at the end, there's you a sunscreen, but then I say to them, let me tell you something else. No sunscreen is going to last 100% or be 100% effective 100% of the day. It wipes off, it sweats off, it comes off with humidity. It moves, so you can put it on at 8 a.m. and have nothing by 1 p.m., especially in our climate that's super humid, okay? So I say, listen, I want one application of your Zio sunscreen every single morning, your cream sunscreen. Then I say to them, you want to be topping up regularly. The FDA tells us every two hours, but I'm not going to put on my Zio SPF 30 plus primer five times a day because by 5 p.m. I'm going to look horrendous. So I say, okay, well, I'm going to get you to reapply with your brush on sunscreen. You keep it in your bag. I have it in my car. Whenever I'm in my car, it's next to my shades. I put on my shades, boom, 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 quick. You don't, I put it on top of makeup. It's literally like a second skin. You don't see anything.